Are you sick of generating images like these where the subject is perfectly centered in the middle of the frame? And would you rather have images like these where the character is placed more dynamically in the scene? Billy Mays here, let me- Well, let me show you how you can accomplish that inside of Midjourney. There are a lot of words you could use inside of your prompt that do not work, like using off-center. I found that this did not work at all. Granted, this is only in version 5.2 and things may change in the future, but I don't recommend using something like off-center. In fact, there are only two words I found to help with this issue of symmetry in your generations. The first word we can focus on, ironically enough, is asymmetrical. This word allowed us to get an image like number one and number four, and I'd say that's what we're looking for. However, in two and three, the subject is right in the middle of the frame. Is that a problem? I don't think so because we're only looking for one good image, and as long as we can find that, I'm not too worried about the rest of the grid. But asymmetrical is not the only ingredient to this success. I also recommend lowering the stylized value. The default value is 100, and if you didn't know, lowering that value will cause Midjourney to follow your prompt a little more directly. However, this might result in less than beautiful generations, so I don't necessarily recommend going all the way down to zero. Somewhere around S40 usually does the trick. And while that might work, there are actually two more parameters that we can include in our prompts to help get what we're looking for. The first being style raw. This helped us get an image like number one. That is super beautiful. Perfectly off-center without using the word off-center. Again, if you're unfamiliar with Style Raw, you can think about it in a similar way to the stylized value. Style Raw will cause Midjourney to follow your prompt more closely. However, because that's true, if you write a very short prompt, the odds of getting something beautiful drastically go down. So it is a little harder to prompt in style raw, but it comes up clutch in certain scenarios. The symmetry issue is definitely one of them. But we're not done there. The other parameter you should be including when you're searching for one special picture is the chaos value. At default, it's zero and that means the entire grid will sort of look the same. There's not going to be much variation between each image in the seed. However, with just a little bit of chaos, we can start a deeper exploration of a prompt. Chaos goes from 0 to 100. I do not recommend any high number. I don't recommend anything over 15 or 20. In fact, Chaos 8 seems to be my sweet spot. This will give us just enough variety to where we have a good chance of finding what we're looking for. In this case, it's asymmetrical framing. And you'll notice Notice in number two, three, and four, the character is in the middle. However, in number one, it's exactly what we wanted. And I think that's pretty important. So while asymmetrical seems to be a big part of the prompt, there's another word you can add, or phrase I should say, and that is Dutch angle. Now I know what you might be thinking that Dutch angle doesn't really apply to where the subject is framed, it's more about the camera angle, but using it inside of a mid-journey prompt does seem to be a solution for this problem. Again, one, three, and four didn't work, but number two worked Perfectly. There is our character off center in the frame. Mid journey is kind of hard to guide to where you want it to go, but I think as long as solutions like this exist, despite not being a perfect silver bullet, I think this gets the job done. And everything I've shown you so far, you can kind of combine for different recipes. In this particular case, we have Dutch Angle, and then Style Raw and Chaos 8, and it gets us an image like number three. That is amazing. I'm really impressed with that picture. And for the record, here's another example, a bird sitting in a tree, asymmetrical style raw C8. I like these images a lot. Number one is beautiful, number three is amazing. That's a lot of fun to use. So asymmetrical, Dutch angle, style raw, low chaos value, low stylized value. Those are probably the main ingredients for solving the symmetrical framing issue. But there are a few more things you can try. The next technique you can try to frame the image the way you want is called photo bashing. I think it's called photo bashing. This involves a little pre-production where you take assets and basically put together the final picture you're looking for in a very rough sort of way. I brought a stock photo of a woman and some flowers in a Photoshop and I framed it the way I wanted. Exported it as a PNG, uploaded it to Discord. Now once it's in Discord, you can drag it into the prompt box or you can click on it once so it expands, right click and then hit copy image address. And then I went and included the prompt we were looking for, a woman in a field of glowing neon lilies, style raw. And this is what it came up with. I would say these are fairly ugly. So there are a few things we can do. First is 
add the word asymmetrical, but again, these didn't turn out that great, at least in terms of beauty, so how do we fix that? Well, one of the problems with image prompting is that the image takes a big part of the generation. So one thing we can do is lower the weight of that image. And we can do that by including dash dash IW inside of the prompt, and then including a number between 0.5 and 2. If you use 2, that would make the image twice as important as the words in the prompt. So that's not what we want. We want to lower it to 0.5. IW 0.5, and we're getting images like these, which I would say are a little more attractive. I like number 2 a lot. But because we have the image prompt as a foundation, I think that gives us some freedom to raise the stylized value. In this case, I brought it up to S400. I included a bit of chaos, kept the image weight at 0.5, and take a look at these. Number two is pretty great. Number three is amazing. And number four is beautiful as well. The higher the stylized value, the better looking pictures you're gonna get. Traditionally, that will mean it will stray from your prompt a little bit, but thanks to the image prompt providing a strong anchor, I think this would work out really well. So those are the things that you can include in your prompt to direct it, but there is one more big thing you can do that will save any picture. Let's take this as an example, one that did not work at all. She's right in the center of the frame. If we want to take this symmetrical picture and turn it asymmetrical, we can scroll below the upscale. We can select the panning feature by using one of these arrow buttons. In our case, we would want left or right, not up or down. I chose left, and it will generate these. Now our character is way on the right side of the full image. I do have to point out that the color balance in panning is not quite right yet. I mean, you can notice it in the flowers. The left side is a lot darker than the original right half, and that might be a problem for you, but I don't think it happens all the time. It's kind of hit or miss. You let me know what your experiences are. But now that we have our character on the right side of the image, what can we do? I don't want this wide picture. Well, that's where we can click on the custom zoom button. We can change the aspect ratio to what we're looking for. In my case, I wanted it to be 16 by nine. And then we also have to change the zoom number from two to one. Hit submit and it'll give you these. Now, I don't think they're all good. In fact, two and three are pretty awful and four doesn't look good at all. Number one is all right though. And there you have it. She's a little off center now. I think that's a pretty easy and surefire way to solve the symmetrical issues. I did it again with this image here. We went from this to this. I used custom zoom to turn it into this. And I think that is so beautiful. Before we finish, let me show you some of those comic book examples. Here I included Dutch Angle, Asymmetrical, Style Raw, and Chaos 8. And I was able to get some images like these. Number one is awesome and number four as well. Completely off center. Same thing here, even without the chaos. It worked really well. Even asymmetrical S40 worked really well here. And a sneaky little advanced tip, you can use what is called the cowbell method. I'm not sure why it's called cowbell. Maybe it's because more the better. Everything needs more cowbell. Don't quote me on that though. But it involves doubling up on certain words in your prompt. In this case, we have Dutch angle asymmetrical to start. Then we turn it into a multi-prompt by using double colons. And we follow it up with the word we're looking for, asymmetrical colon colon point eight. We added a weight to the extra word that we wanted. I recommend keeping it below one to keep the rest of the prompt more important, but that's just a personal choice. Keep in mind S40, C8, and Style Raw for this image as well. Same exact prompt for this image. That's really cool. Now that you've learned how to solve symmetry, how can you apply it to your old images? Well, check out this video here if you want access to these new features on your old pictures. I hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.